Right, let's have a look at the reasoning. Converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. So I need to do the denominator times the, times the integer. 9 times 9 is 81. Add 1 makes 82 ninths. So 3 times 9 is 27. Add 8 makes 34 ninths. You can see the denominators always stay the same. 3 times 15, which could have done short multiplication, but I know it's 45. 45 add 11. I'll make 45 and make 50. Oh, 56. There we go, 56 fifteenths. And then over here, 3 times 5, or 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17 fifths. To convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, we just do it in reverse. So I ask, I do how many 2s are there in 7? 3, um, which would be 6, so 3 and a half. To use that strategy then, 2 times 3 is 6, add 1, make 7. Over here, how many fives are there in 13? 2 with 3 fifths left over. So 5 times 2 is 10, add 3 makes 13. Fives in 11 would be 2 with a fifth left over. 3's in 13 would be 4 with a third left over. So you could pause to compare. On we go. So we're going to compare these fractions using greater than or less than. We could use a common denominator on these, but we could use also what we know about the fractions. Because 6 fourteenths must be less than a half. Because if it was half, it would be 7 fourteenths. 7 is half of 14. This must be more than a half. Because half of 13 is 6.5. So 7 is more than a half. 7 thirteenths more than a half. 6 fourteenths less than a half. Over here, we've got 1 fourteenth. A fourteenth is smaller than a thirteenth. Remember, if we had the whole, put it into 14 pieces, they'd be smaller than the thirteenths. We've got 7 of those and 1 of those. So that's going to go that way around. <coughs> Four tenths is definitely going to be bigger than one seventh. Okay? And then over here, look, 12 out of 13, that's nearly the whole thing. Six ninths, equivalent to two thirds, it's further from the whole. Seven fourteenths, well, we already, I'm sorry, that was the same as a half, we only got one fifth there, so that must be bigger there. And then finally over here, 13 out of 14, 13 fourteenths, it's definitely bigger than eight sixteenths, which is equal to a half. Half of 16 is 8. There you go. <coughs> Nearly there. Oh, don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, uh, common denominators. So sensible common denominator working with halves, quarters and eighths is going to be eighths. So you're going to times it by 4 to turn it into eighths. So we've got 4 eighths times quarters by 2 to turn it into eighths. Add 2 eighths, add 1 eighth to get a total of 7 eighths. Up here, we've got eighths, quarters, and sixteenths. So 16 is going to be our sensible common denominator. That's already sixteenths. Times it by four to turn four. Sorry, that's meant to be a six. Four times four is sixteen, so three times four is twelve. And times two to turn it into sixteen, so times two. There we go, and now I can get adding. So I know that twelve add three will give me fifteen. Fourteen add fifteen is 29. Leave it like that, 29, 16. So you might have converted to a mixed number as well. Down we go over here. I'm going to use 12 as my sensible common denominator. 3 times 4 is 12. So 1 times 4 as my new numerator. And then 6 times 2. Sorry. There we go. 6 times 2 is 12. So 1 times 2 is 2. And then I can add across 7. I'm doing 5 add 2 makes 7, add 4 makes um, 11 twelfths. So denominator stays the same, we don't add or subtract denominators once we've got that common denominator. Last two, sensible common denominator, I'm going to use eighths again. So we've got 5 eighths times it by 4 to turn it into eighths. 4 eighths is equivalent to a half. And double times 2, 4 times 2 is 8, so 1 times 2 is 2. Denominator stays the same. That looks like the same question. Different fractions, same equivalent fractions. Uh, so I've got 2 add 7 add 4, 11 eighths again. And then the last one down here. <coughs> Sensible common denominator, lowest common multiple of 6, 2 and 12 is 12. Um, so I'm going to turn this, ooh, double it, 10 twelfths times it by 6. Because 2 times 6 is 12. And that's already 7 twelfths. Denominator, oh sorry, I missed that one as well. Uh, denominator, denominator stays the same. 16 
10 out of 6 is 16, and the 7 makes 23 twelfths, and then actual final one, 16 is our common denominator, times it by 8, times it by 2, times it by 1, and we've got 19 sixteenths. Pause for now.